Hey everyone. This is just a randomly inspired general reading. It's going to be timeless. I'm just going to pull one of these cards and let's see what we get. So if you are seeing this, this is probably for you. At the moment you need to work on your heart chakra. I believe there's a lot of healing going on. There's a lot of deep soul stuff that's coming up for people. So if you can listen to any solfeggio frequencies and things like that, your heart chakra might need a little bit of love from you. Okay, now let's pull some tarot and see what we have for you. Before. I did do an off screen cycle, but it does help you learn. Okay. Here we go. In relation to this reading, please. Ooh. Oh, wow. The High Priestess. What's the first card? Ooh, Queen of Swords. <laughs> okay. We'll go with about five. Next card up, the Four of Pentacles. Ah, okay. <laughs> Interesting energy. Then we have the world. So, okay, good things are happening. It's nice. And then, final card is the Queen of Wands. All right. So this could represent you, or it could be energies you're embodying, or it could be people in your life. So let's start off with the High Priestess. I believe that this is you needing some healing for your heart chakra, as the heart chakra card came out earlier. Um, at the moment, for a lot of people on the Ascension path, you're healing some of the deepest wounding in your soul right now. So the black and the white pillars are standing out big time. It is the yin yang. Um, I'm not actually sure I knew what those symbols meant, um, but it's a reference to the Bible, the JNB. So <laughs> the pillars of society, you know, the pillars that make you you, you're really strengthening your own foundational pillars and you're healing the stuff that held you down, this, all your baggage that was weighing you down. It's almost like that background behind her is really, really crowded and it's encroaching on her and she's about to stand up and throw that off her shoulders and stand tall and stand in her power and speak her truth. The reason why I'm saying that is because you've got the Ace of, sorry, the Queen of Swords. Okay, Queen of Swords is the person that's been hurt a lot. So transitioning from that to this, I totally understand because you've got the heart chakra and it is about a time of healing at the moment. A lot of deep stuff is coming up. Unresolved rage, unresolved wounding, things like that. So of course you're going to embody the Queen of Swords energy because the Queen of Swords is someone that was hurt and she's a little bit bitter and she can be very cutting with her words. Her, her tongue and what she says can be like a sword. It will cut through you. It is very emotional and very brutal. So while you're going through this, Please try to temper yourself and balance your heart chakra so that you are not so cutting. Because I feel like this energy is, you could turn around and regret it. You may say things or hurt people that you may not want to hurt. And I, don't know, I just feel like whoever this is for, you're a better soul than that. And you don't want to do that. You know you're going through your personal evolution. You don't want to be taking out on everybody else. So maybe, maybe that's why you're going to kind of go within. Hold on to the, the resources. Um the knowledge, the wisdom, the growth that you've attained so far. This is a very sort of miserly energy. It's like keeping everything to yourself, confining it to yourself. But there is nothing wrong with that, okay? When you go into isolation for healing, it's almost like a hermit mode card. I feel like this is a very hermit energy, especially with the High Priestess and Queen of Swords being here and the Heart Chakra being so significant. There's a lot of healing going on, but don't, does, that doesn't mean you should close yourself off to the world. Okay, just don't completely isolate yourself because you see he's off far away from the city that's behind him. He's not in amongst the people that he might want to be around. So please don't isolate yourself so much that you cut yourself off completely because once you come out of this phase, you're actually completing a major cycle. Okay, this can actually represent travel, but considering the global climate right now, not many of us are actually capable of traveling. Okay, so the world card is about completion of major cycles, like two decades and over, okay? You have come a long way, my friend, and you are, whatever you're experiencing right now, I know it may not feel good, it may feel really raw, and you might feel vulnerable, and like nothing in this world will make you feel good, but this is where you're headed. Look at this, okay? Ascension, leveling up, next stage of your life. This is like cray cray wild, ah, dreams coming true kind of energy, okay? I feel like She's jumping for joy, and I feel like jumping for joy. Like, my solar plexus and my heart are really excited. Looking at this card, it's like, wow, the world is my oyster. Bring it on. I want it all. I want to know why I... Not why I know. I want to do what I came here to do. 
you already know what you came here to do in this card, okay? <laughs> From this card to this card, you just got a bit of healing and a bit of releasing to do. There is no drama here, okay? Oh, I'm feeling very excited at this reading. <laughs> Randomly inspired. Okay, so after the world card, to end it off, you have the Queen of Swords. Oh, sorry, Queen of Wands. What was that? Queen of Swords. Going from the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Wands is a wonderful thing. The Queen of Wands is a very fiery and passionate woman, but she's very wise. You know, yellow is a colour of intellect and wisdom. It's also the colour of growth. You see the sunflower there? Brand new beginnings, bright future, <laughs> even the um growth on the staff, okay? That represents growth, uh, emotional, spiritual, you know, growth as a human being, shedding your shadow. <laughs> as soon as I shed a shadow, I see the cat, okay? So think of cats. They do not stress the small stuff. They are the picture of contentment, regardless of what's going on around them. If they're in a place that they feel safe and at home, which you will by the end of this phase, in your body, you will feel so much at home in your skin and you will love yourself so much more. Because this queen, this queen has no fear. She has no need for, she or he, mind you, not being gender specific, she or he has no need for a partner or family or friends or anybody to make them feel validated or worth anything. She or he is their own person. And they have no need for external validation or, oh, a little pat on the head, oh, you know, you did good, blah, blah, blah. They know their worth. They know the, what they're made of. And they know what they're about. They do not need anyone. So this, my friend, is a beautiful stage of evolution. Okay, um, <laughs> let's see what oracle cards we have for you. Oh, I'm feeling the goddess energy because we've got high priestess here. So I'm going to pull some goddess oracle cards for you guys. Sorry if that was a bit loud. <laughs> Goddesses, what guidance do you have for this reading, please? Who's going to be guiding the people that this reading is for? Oof. Wow, okay. We have two cards. We have Mother Mary, expect miracles. So have faith that your prayers have been heard and been answered. There you go. And Mother Mary is the ultimate healer. Mother Mary and Joseph, if you have any paternal wounding, anything at all, <laughs> Jesus, Mother Mary, and Joseph. Call on them. Ask them to help you to heal and process the wounding that you are currently processing because I really feel that that is something that's going to be important for you. Okay? Once again, I'll show you the card if I don't have too many reflections. Sorry, guys. And then, Ma'at. Fairness. Woohoo! The situation will, sorry, this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So if you're feeling like something has gone wrong, the universe is about to balance things in your favor. So just have faith. Because by the time you get into this Queen of Wands feeling like owning yourself in your skin, loving yourself for who you are and what you are, nothing in this world will phase you. These things will not bother you at all. Okay, um, and since we're just post a full moon, to wrap this reading up, I will do just a little moonology card for you. See what you have. Any moonology cards because they've only got tiny little messages anyway. <laughs> well, okay. So the first card out is don't let pride get in your way. <laughs> Full moon in Leo. Okay, yes, fire signs can be a bit prideful, but do not let pride get in your way. Understand that your ascension is you shedding your ego. So being prideful and egotistical is not exactly what you're trying to attain right now. What the process you're going through is to shed that stuff, okay? Next card. <laughs> the end of a tough cycle approaches, as the reading was saying. Full moon in Capricorn. So there you go. End of a tough cycle approaches. You're going through a difficult transition and healing period right now, but this is going to be in the end of quite a rough period that you've had. And I think it's long deserved, very well deserved. And to end it off, believe in the impossible. A blue moon, okay? I'm not sure if we're having blue moons. I'm not that much into moon all <laughs> the moon cycles and astrology and things like that at the moment. So I can't really make any references. But that is one of the most beautiful cards possible. It's like your future is up to you. You can make it as beautiful and magnificent and amazing as you want to. But it's all entirely up to you, my friend. So have faith in yourself, in your guides, in your ascension. I know that you are here for a reason, and all is well. 
hope this resonated. Thank you very much for your time.